What's going on guys? It's MaxMax24 here, and it's time for your weekly gamer. But before we do that, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, click that bell notification to stay notified on when I upload, and follow me on Twitter because that's where I post the most. And with that, let's talk about the gaming news of this week. So this week had a lot more news than last week, because it's now been two weeks since E3, so you know, some of the game companies are like, hey, we, we got some stuff now. So for starters, both the Xbox Games with Gold and the PS Plus games have both been announced, and from the looks of it, I, I think PlayStation won this month. For Xbox, we got Assault Android Cactus, I have no clue what that is, and Death Squared, also have no clue what that is. For the Xbox One, both games I've never heard of until today. And then for the 360 and backwards compatible on Xbox One, Virtua Fighter 5 and Splinter Cell Convention, Conviction, I've heard of those, so you know, those are fine, but the Xbox One titles, I've never heard of before, they've never crossed my mind. And for PS Plus, we got Heavy Rain and Absolver, for those of you who don't know, Heavy Rain is from the people who made Detroit Become Human, which people love, I still need to buy it, it's an amazing game apparently. And, yeah, so you can get another one of their games, Heavy Rain, on PlayStation 4, and Absolver, which was a puzzle platformer kind of game. And then PlayStation 3, we got Rayman 3 HD, which is also an Xbox Game Pass, so I don't know if I'll grab it. And Deception 4, The Nightmare Princess, I have no clue what that is, but, you know, it's there. And then, for people who still who own a Vita, I don't think anybody owns a Vita anymore, I mean... I'd be surprised if someone did. But for people who do, we got Space Overlords and Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. That's a long title. Also don't know what the heck those are. The only games that I know of are the Xbox 360 Xbox games and then the some of the PlayStation Plus games. But I think PlayStation Plus won out overall because Heavy Rain. I want to play it. I like those kinds of games. In other news, going away from the Sony, Xbox, Microsoft, all that stuff, uh... We got Overwatch's newest hero, and guess what it is? It's a hamster. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a hamster. I know that. Uh, that's kind of weird. It's a hamster and a hamster ball. It rolls around, and then it can become a little like mech and shoot. Yeah, no, yeah, that, that that's kind of weird. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be a hamster. They were teasing it, but I didn't think it was gonna be a hamster. I mean, we do have a monkey, and we do have a thing that looks like a big fat pig. But a hamster. I mean, it's cute. It's a scary hamster. But it's, it's a hamster. Sony also talked more about the crossplay. They said that they'll be able to, well, that they're looking into it and looking into options and options that'll still support their business. Spoiler alert, Sony. I know the perfect way to support your business and do crossplay. Just, just do crossplay. People will like it. You won't hurt anybody. I don't think your business will be hurt. Right now, I think your business is being hurt because you're not doing crossplay. Because people who have don't have enough money for a PC but want to play a PC game like Fortnite or Rocket League, want to play Fortnite or Rocket I think Fortnite's on PC, I don't know. They want to play Rocket League with their friends who all have PCs, but they don't have enough money for a PC, they have enough money for a console, they're going to get an Xbox One because Xbox One is cross can do crossplay with the PC. They're not going to buy a PlayStation. So I think that's hurting your business a little bit more than just flicking a switch and enabling it. I mean, call me crazy. Same with Minecraft, you know? I mean, an Xbox One S is like 200 bucks. A, a great PC, well, a Minecraft PC is probably like 200 bucks too. But like, if you want a great PC, it's going to cost you like 500, 600, 700, anywhere around there. So why don't you just flick that switch? I, I, I figured it out for you guys. Boom. I know. It's it's such a revelation. Go go do it. Also, for anybody who cares about Battle Royale, I don't really care about Battle Royale. It's a dumb genre to me. I mean, Minecraft Hunger Games is the original Battle Royale, unless you count Roblox. But for people who like Battle Royale, you all should be glad because PUBG dropped their lawsuit against Fortnite. I mean, I don't know if you care. Because that... Either way, I don't think that was ever going to go anywhere. It was just a dumb little making a lot of noise, and it was just a dumb move on their part. 
But yeah, they dropped the lawsuit, so you know, go you battle royale fans. High high five. Um, and also Bethesda is suing Warner Brothers. Probably don't care about that because it doesn't really affect you as a gamer. I don't think unless you really played that Westworld mobile game that they're suing over. If you love it to death, then you should be worried. But I didn't ever I didn't even know it existed until the suit came out so they're suing it over apparently they use some assets from fallout shelter and blah 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 stuff i don't care one bit um there's also a tv show coming out yeah and i know you might think what this this doesn't have anything to do with gaming what are you doing this is weekly gamer not 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 weekly tv yeah i'm sorry but this has something to do with gaming showtime has ordered a Halo TV show for 2019. Yeah, a Halo TV show. I think it's going to be great. No, I'm, I'm going to want to watch it. I don't know how well it's going to do on Showtime. I think HBO, you know, should have picked it up. Or like Sci-Fi or something. That makes more sense than Showtime. But we'll have to see. Hopefully it's going to be great. I love Halo, so I'll watch it, of course. And hopefully it's going to be great. And finally we got... The Adventures of Captain Spirit, the free uh, Life is Strange prequel, Life is Strange 2 prequel, Life is Strange sequel, came out, it's completely free, it's about two hours long, I was going to play it, I was going to maybe record, if I have the time, but we'll, we'll see about that. And that's about it for the gaming news of this week. I mean, again, if, if this was weekly entertainment, I'd talk about how, you know, Spider-Man... Homecoming 2 has got a title called it's called Far From Home but you don't care about that because this is Weekly Gamer uh, I talk about how there's a possibility of a Venom spawn uh, crossover but you don't care about that because this is this is Weekly Gamer and yeah I mean that's that's what I talk about if this was Weekly Entertainment but it's, it's Weekly Gamer so we don't talk about that things but yeah that's about it for this week's beautiful gaming news of this world if you like this video again please drop a like comment subscribe tell your friends share it on social media show your grandma email your uh, pen pals do whatever you do uh, and follow me on Twitter because that's where you'll know when I post what I post what I'm doing why there was no upload one day what's going on am I dead am I alive you'll you'll dead or alive five you'll know but yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.